What if I told you there's something even weirder than a black hole? Meet the white hole, a cosmic creature that's like a black hole's bizarre mirror twin. But before you grab your telescope, let's break down what a white hole actually is, and why you've never heard a single astronomer spot one in the wild. So what is a white hole? Imagine a region of space where nothing, not even light, can enter. Instead, everything gets blasted out, and there's no way in. Think of it as the ultimate cosmic fountain matter and energy erupt outwards, but any astronaut or spaceship that tries to get close gets hurled away, like bouncing off a gravity trampoline. That's the white hole, the escape-only zone. It gets stranger. A white hole isn't just an idea some sci-fi writer cooked up, it actually falls right out of Einstein's theory of general relativity. Back in 1935, Einstein and Rosen solved the math for black holes and found a mirror solution, a white hole connected to the black hole by what they called an Einstein-Rosen bridge. You might know this better as a wormhole, but here's the catch. While black holes form when stars collapse and crunch themselves into a point, white holes would need to explode outward from nothing, a singularity spewing matter and energy with no warning and no known way to start. There's simply no process in the universe that makes that happen, and the problems keep stacking up. White holes would actually violate one of the fundamental laws of physics, the second law of thermodynamics. They'd shoot out ordered matter, decreasing entropy, which is a huge no-no in our universe. And they're wildly unstable. The tiniest bit of dust falling in would instantly collapse a white hole into a black hole. And let's be real, nobody's seen one. No gamma ray bursts, no cosmic eruptions, no weird things lighting up our telescopes. So, what's the point? Well, white holes still pop up in cutting-edge theories. Some physicists wonder if the Big Bang itself was a white hole. Others working on quantum gravity think a dying black hole might bounce back as a white hole instead of disappearing. And in some wild multiverse theories, white holes might even link different universes. But, at the end of the day, white holes are like a movie played in reverse. Black holes swallow everything, white holes expel everything. One is real, there's a giant black hole at the center of our galaxy. The other, just math, at least for now. So next time you hear about white holes in a sci-fi show, remember, they're a fascinating what-if cooked up by Einstein's math. But the universe doesn't seem to play that real. Mind blown? Let me know what cosmic mysteries you want to unravel next.